parental rights, keep sex out of the classrooms, and return to the basics in education. That's what some candidates running for public school boards are campaigning on in the run-up to this fall's election. One Regina political activist group is endorsing seven candidates for public school board on that basis. We vet the candidates to see whether they align with our principles, and if they align with our principles, we'll provide an endorsement for them. The group's founder says that those principles start with the belief in the value of family. He says the city council and schools should steer clear of issues involving gender and sexual identity. Teachers should be teaching, you know, reading, writing, arithmetic. They, you know, you can teach history, you can teach geology, you can teach geography, you can teach, you know, all of those things. But when you get into the area of sexual education, that's, that's a different area altogether. And if you get into that area, then parents need to become involved. They need to consent to what's going on. They need to consent having their children involved in those programs. And if they don't consent, the children shouldn't be involved in those programs. The group was happy when the province introduced the Parents' Bill of Rights last year. That bill requires educators to inform parents if sex ed is being taught or if they're using different names or pronouns for children. That bill is currently in court. But many of the candidates the group is backing approve of the changes and are outspoken about it. Do you believe that teachers should keep secrets from parents? Yes. You do believe that they yes. should keep secrets from parents? Parents, Get off my lawn. Thank you. Thank you. Transsexuality is not what about it? sex, bisexuality. What about it, though? It doesn't need to be taught in the school. Why are you pushing it? It's not taught. It exists. Her post goes on to say, we can't have one school thinking a drag queen story time to kindergarten students is acceptable, or a teacher telling a grade three student that they don't need to choose their gender yet is acceptable. But several educators are concerned about the push for more parental rights in schools. And it's not about a parent's right for their own self. It's about saying parents' rights should trump children's rights. And parents should be able to control what their children learn, what pronouns their children are able to use, and what their children's name is. Which doesn't match what the Human Rights Code says about children as independent rights holders. Years ago, when I was in high school, I probably would have never dreamed of even coming out when I was in the school building. I see a lot of kids that were getting more comfortable with being out in their school spaces, being like, hey, I think I might be queer, or I might be bisexual and, or gay, and being okay with that, and having somebody say, that's, that's great. Like, how can I support you? And since last year, now it's been almost like a backpedal where I'm seeing less kids that are trying on identities and trying on different pronouns to find what sort of fits them. Educators say education isn't static. It's evolving past Eurocentric, colonial ways of representing the world. And that includes representing, acknowledging, and affirming all young people in the curriculum. How education continues to evolve? That's up to voters when they cast their ballots in this fall's municipal and school board elections. Jenny Whitfield, CBC News, Regina.